Hi, I'm Madhuri Dixit and you're watching me on Zoom. Kartik Aryan is a very hard worker and uh, he's very enthusiastic all the time. He wants to do his best. Shooting with Vidya was a blast. I mean, we just got along uh, famously. Mm. And um, I have always admired her as an actor. See, the thing was we were completely outside the industry and we didn't know how the industry functions, we didn't know anything about it. We always thought it's a big bad world and you know, you shouldn't be a part of it. And me being from a Maharashtrian family, very orthodox, he liked what he saw and he said that, you know, I would like you to stop signing second leads. You cannot do that in this industry because I want you to sign you for Ram Lakhan and that's how I got Ram Lakhan. Mm -hmm. If I play Salman's Bhabi, it's going to look really awkward when he comes and touches my feet and all that. And it's not me who decided, there was a story floating that I had said that. I said, no, it's them. I mean, Suraji himself said that. Mm -hmm. He said that uh, we are feeling awkward to, you know, cast you uh, in that role. They watched the movie, they liked it, and my son called me and says, gave me the thumbs up, it's a very good movie, entertaining, mm -hmm. we laughed. Uh, and uh, you did it well as a ghost. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Samina Sheikh here on Zoom channel and with me today I have the diva who is going to show her different avatar which she's already showcased, the ghostly avatar of her. So join me as I welcome Madhuri Dikshit ma'am only on Zoom channel. Thank you First so of all, much. lovely to have you. Pleasure I was you. when I got to know that you know you're also part of it, I was like how will she like you know play that role you know of a ghostly one? I've never seen her and I was I got really excited. I was like oh my god and that is the reason I watched the movie. I was like you know you were the main reason to be honest. Oh, thank you so, so much. how was it you know being a part of this one you know and bringing a different energy all together? Oh it was fantastic because uh, I had met uh, Anis Bhai some time ago and uh, I had just seen Bulbulaya too and I had liked it and I told him oh it was so good and blah 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 and we just had a talk. Um, and this January, he called and he said there's something you know he had in mind, and he, if he would come and meet me, and he narrated the script to me, and um, he said this is going to be Bulbulaya three, and this is what the script is, and we want you to play this character, and and I liked it, you know, actually, and I thought about it first, and I said it gives me something different to do, and uh, I would have. I would love to be a part of this universe. Uh, you know, a horror comedy is something that I had not done before. And so I thought uh, this will be something different for me to do and something that I can, you know, sink my teeth in. Yeah. And so I said, okay, uh, I'll be part of this. And of course, there was Karthik Arin in the movie and Vidya Balan was there and all these tremendous actors, you know, uh, in the movie. Uh, so I said, uh, yeah, I would love to be part of this. And we must say that the camera loves you. Wherever you are, the energy is different. <laughs> Touchwood, you are also blessed with some like vivacious energy, some tips. How do, <laughs> how do you maintain that, you know, healthy energy throughout? Like you're doing back-to-back -back interviews and I'm Touchwood, like I'm very impressed that you have so much of passion and charisma and you, our energy down. Ho oh, hai. My, no, I'm no, not no, nothing kidding. like that. Even I was like fl flubbing <laughs> some words and uh, the, because I've done so many interviews this in this day that, um, uh, it does affect you, but you know, whenever I do something, I do it to the best of my ability. If you are here all the way from wherever you were to interview me, then I think I have to do my best and try to give our audience, you know, uh, to take away something from this uh, yeah. interview. And that's, that's the foremost on my mind. Whenever I'm doing anything, I want some people, like people to take away something from it, a piece of it. Yeah. And a piece of you has been taken by Karthik Aryan also, uh, you know, the dancing <laughs> skills, I must say that. You really helped him, you know, get the, the dancing skills very properly. And as we saw him also, doing the classical dance is not that easy. Mm -hmm. And especially talking about your own number with Vidya Balan, that yeah. was just too good. After such a long time, we have seen a dance face off as such and it was yeah. done so beautifully. Even the way it was shot, what do you have to say about both? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, Karthik Aryan is a very hard worker and uh, he's very enthusiastic all the time. He wants to do his best um, and he's just not like an actor who, who's just acting. He has attention is everywhere else, you know, also. So he has the like a whole th 360 degree view of mm. everything that he's doing. Um, it was wonderful to just give him a few tips on, uh, you know, some of the things that make it more delicate. 
Um, but uh, shooting with Vidya was a blast. I mean, uh, we just got along uh, famously. Hmm. And um, I have always admired her as an actor. Uh, I've seen her films and um, I think she is fantastic. And to do all these scenes with her was amazing because mm -hmm. we fed off each other's energies. And we, both of us brought something to the table that was like, you know, different. Yeah. And um, even when we did the song, I think she was a little apprehensive at first. And, uh, um, but I told her like, when you challenge yourself to do something, you come out with flying colors because you challenge yourself and you grow, you That's know, true. when you challenge yourself. And you see her dancing. She's done such a beautiful job. And she was nervous so. around <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. But she came out, you know, winning. And she's, she's done true. so beautifully. And uh, we really enjoyed that whole uh, dance off, the, uh, the tug of war, and everything. We enjoyed every little bit of it. And as we talk about challenge, you know, uh, Rabina Tandon recently also said that, you know, when she joined the industry, for her, it was challenging because she used to sweep floors and all. She used to clean a lot of things, you know, the dirt around. And suddenly, like, you know, she got into the world of glamour. But ma'am, when even you came, you know, that time, and you have done, um, you know, N number of roles. But what was the most challenging part for you during your time, you know, when you started off, which you really felt like, you know, this is how I'm going to tackle this, and that is how I'm going to shine? See, the thing was, we were completely outside the industry. And we didn't know how the industry functions. We didn't know anything about it. So first of all, to say yes to the first film itself was very difficult for us mm -hmm. because um, we always thought it's a big bad world and you know you shouldn't be a part of it. And me being from a Maharashtrian family, very orthodox, so for me that was the first big step, just saying yes to a film. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to ask my great grandmother for advice that what to do, you know, should we join, should we not, how would you guys feel? And uh, she said, I think she's very talented and if she works hard, she will make it. So yeah. if you have my permission, you know, to go into films. And that's how I did my first film. But the challenge after the first film is, how do you keep yourself, how do you, uh, how do you get more work, you know? Because at that time, there was no social media, there was nothing. I mean, okay. there was no way of contacting people. We didn't even know anyone. Yeah. But luckily for me, uh, uh, when I did Abodh, even though the film didn't do well, I got other jobs because people saw the film. Mm. Like LV Prashadji had seen the film and he wanted a, a young girl, though it was a second lead, but he wanted a young girl to play this role in his film. Mm. And so I was contacted for that and they, uh, they interviewed me and everything and they said, yeah, we like you for this role and can you, will you do it? And then I got Awara Bab out of that. And while I was shooting for Awara Bab, I met Subhashji who was making karma and he asked if I could do a song in that film. Huh. And when I did the song, a part of the song, um, he liked what he saw and he said that, you know, I would like you to stop signing second leads. You cannot do that in this industry. Uh, so you have to do only leads. You cannot do second leads. So stop signing okay. these films because I want you to sign you for Ram Lakan. And that's how I got Ram Lakan. Hmm. I was doing another film which N. Chandra was editing mm -hmm. and he wanted to make Teza at that time and he saw me and he said uh, I want this girl for my film for Teza and that's how I got Teza so as I kept working slowly you know I started building this relationship and then I got these movies you know so when you are from the outside how do you navigate that becomes the biggest uh, problem one thing which is very good to you know we see you in you ma'am you know and that is what firstly when i follow to be honest is you have taken a stand for yourself wherever it was required when i say that you know you have spoken for your work if you had to need a certain role to be you know maximized you have worked on that and that is something which is very encouraging you know for women empowerment at one point of time you know women were just secluded to certain roles but mm. now a full fledged movies are made on them yeah. do you feel that you know the right the, if you, if you and the entire cloud you know would have not fought those fights today it wouldn't have been that easy either yeah I mean you have to keep fighting your fights and uh, um, you have to fight for your place you know in a movie um, but having said that I mean the role should be well written everything has to support that like if I have a good director if I have a good role and the script is good I have a good cast in the movie yeah. then everything adds to what you are going to show in the movie right so when Beta was made, people said, oh, it should have been called Beti because I'm, 
I wanted to do my best work, you know, and that was always on my mind foremost. Yeah. That whatever scene I'm given, I'm going to just chew that scene up, you know. Yeah. So I always uh, attacked my uh, work with that vigor, that that challenge. Everything mm -hmm. was a challenge for me, and um, and that paid off, you know, in the long run. And I have to say that commendable roles, you know, done by you and you stood your ground. That is how, you know, people remember you also. Mm -hmm. Even if I go back to any of your roles, I would like still have a good memory out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not something like, you know, the role got lost. But as I also say this, you know, you had your own, you know, multiple fights. I have to say this one thing that, you know, do you feel that in current, in the current scenario, actors are not like, even if they face the harsh criticism, what y'all had faced earlier, right now, it becomes a bit difficult for them to cope up, especially because social media is there and too much of negativity takes place even on social media, then even in the industry you have to face like that way, sir. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. I mean, uh, that time it's not as if you were not criticized. Exactly. But not in these numbers, like, you know, not trolling like they call it today. Um, and, uh, but I would say that, I mean, people are going to talk. I mean, just because they say something doesn't mean anything, you know. Um, like my mom used to tell me, it doesn't matter. What people say doesn't matter. If there's criticism, think about it. Is it uh, worthy of listening to? Mm. If it's not, just you, you don't have to go there, you know. Mm. And just be yourself and be true to yourself. Be true to your work, work sincerely. You know, these are the lessons she had always given me. Yeah. And I followed it to the T. And it's always helped me, you know. You cannot be carried away by what others are saying. You have to be secure within who you are and be confident. Which movie of yours has been the closest? And I remember asking this last time also to you. <laughs> but I have to ask you, which one has been closest to your family? Which, like, wherever, whenever they watch it, like, they're like, oh my God, this is the one which we really want to stay hooked on to. Well, the thing is that um, as a family, I don't watch my own films. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. We don't just sit in, let's see my film. You know, I feel very awkward doing that. Yeah. And my kids, because they've grown up there, they've grown up on Star Wars and all these films. I think after we moved to India, they watched more of my work than they have ever. Mm. And uh, that too with their friends. When they say, oh, you have you seen your mom in this thing? Yeah. Have you seen? And then they go and watch it, you know. Yeah. And uh, my son saw... Uh, K. Sarah Sarah two years back and he's like, Mom, you didn't tell me about this song. I said, you know, asked me. He says, no, Mom, you're very good. You're very cool. It's a very cool song. I'm like, okay, I have the stamp of coolness now. You know, so uh, that's how my kids and Bhul Bhulaya 3 is something they've watched. Like, mm -hmm. they went to the theater with their friends oh, wow. and uh, they watched the movie. They liked it and my son called me and says, gave me the thumbs up. This is a very good movie, entertaining. We yeah. laughed. Uh, and uh, you did it well as a ghost. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and how's your humorous side, you know, th which we don't get to see often. Very selective movies I've seen that, you know, w w where we have seen your humorous side also. How's the humorous side of Madhuri, ma'am? Do you uh, go very, you know, sarcastic or it's pain, Jane? I know I can be slapstick, I can yeah. be sarcastic, you know, yeah. it's all kinds of humor. <laughs> and how I just, I just like it? having fun, you know, and yeah. my team always tells me, how come you don't show this side of yourself to the people, you know, yeah. you're so funny and you should, you, we are going to capture it secretly, you know, we are going to uh, tape you doing this or that. But I'm like, you know, I, I go with, I mean, the interviews, you can't be silly for of no course. reason. Yeah. But, um, but I have done all kinds, like in Raja, it was like, complete slapstick over the top kind of comedy or a total dhamal or something like that. And um, and our films like always had everything in it. A little bit of comedy, a little bit of emotion, songs, drama, you know. So uh, we kind of, all of us are honed to do different kinds of scenes. Like in Beta, there were a lot of scenes which were very, very funny. That's true. And um, so, it, so it's like we do everything, you know, as actors in Indian movies. 36 years to Tezab also and the song Ek Do Teen, like even now we just go, it revives a lot of good memories. <laughs> nice. We still do that, you know, wherever we are going in movies also or like Shadi Mein Jao Toh Ye Gaana Toh Bajta Hai. Ganpati Mein Toh Bajta Hai, of course. Yeah. Aapki kya memory rahi hai which is, has been the most close to you and especially of course, you know, Saroj ma'am, you are super close to her. Oh also. yes, ab absolutely. I mean, working with her has been an amazing part of my journey because I got to learn so much from her. Um, where Bollywood dancing is concerned, I have learned a lot from her. Yeah. Um, well, with Ek Do Teen, the memories are fantastic because after the movie came out, I, I went to see the movie in the theatre. Okay. 
and uh, everybody said you have to watch your song ek do teen you see the people reacting this that all so they took me from a door which was very close aur samne hi tha wo so they said ma'am aap yahi baithiye aage to aapko jab bhagna padega to aap fat se ye is darwaze se aap bhag sakte hain i said okay and i sat down and you don't know how i regretted it because as soon as ek do teen started there were so so many coins flying everywhere oh they were landing on our heads <laughs> so i had to run away from there yeah. but uh, but it it always gives you a kind of elation when your work gets recognized and um, 36 years from then mm-hmm. we are we are here and people are still doing ek do teen you know um, and it's it's great to see that you could do some work which was iconic and which has you know um, which is uh, which is there for perpetuity like people are going to watch it yeah and hum aapke kon like that is also one of your iconic movies mm-hmm. but we know that you know you said no to hum saath saath hai we don't know the reason behind it what led to that no no i didn't say no to it mm-hmm. uh, i think it was they themselves who felt that if i play salman's bhabhi is going to look really awkward when he comes and touches my feet and all that and it's not me who decided there was a story floating that i had said that i said no it's them i mean suraj himself said that mm. he said that uh, we are feeling awkward to you know cast you uh, in that role so yeah and which is that one dialogue from any of your movies which really keeps you pepped up whenever you really think of that dialogue oh my god no i don't think i uh, think of dialogues from movies yeah, but otherwise uh, like what keeps you inspired well what keeps me inspired is when i see so much good work around me when i see something really uh something that touches me or something that even a bachcha has done you know which touches me or when i see something exceptional you know that inspires me and i feel oh my god you know there's so much left to achieve still one thing which really i admire the most about you is like you took a sabbatical when you had your personal life you know starting off but you came back mm-hmm. and that energy itself to bring back you know uh, you know is very important how did you manage that you know especially the things have changed like you know you have a pr system you have so many things social yeah. media and all that how did you do that because that's very attractive <laughs> yeah no i think you have to flow with times you have to uh, do you have to exist in that time and moment you cannot be existing somewhere else and try to be here you know mm. it's like a time warp then mm. it's like parents who have left from here say in 64 who are living abroad and they think that वैसे ही है अभी तक india like it wasn't 64 it's not true it true. changes exactly it evolves it goes forward and and that way time is always evolving going forward people are going forward so you just have to take a stock of what people are thinking what are they doing what's happening in this world and then you move accordingly like when i came back social media was big and you know uh, you have to be on insta and twitter and this and that so i join all of that and i try to learn you know how to do stuff mm. and i enjoy insta because i love doing reels so <laughs> so that's my go to uh, but you have to move at times and there's no other way and lastly before i let you go of course about your upcoming projects but before that i really want to know if you have ever experienced any haunting you know scenario as such in your <laughs> life uh truthfully no not really not a haunting or anything of yeah. that sort anything eerie uh, like you have like kind of trusted on not really but sometimes you know you go to places and you just feel maybe uncomfortable you feel mm, i i don't think i want to be in this room yeah. or something like that but never really experienced anything out of the ordinary and upcoming projects ma'am uh there's some exciting things going to happen yeah. soon uh but there'll be a time and place to the very first question to you is show you are currently binge watching whoa uh i just binge watch crown your favorite cheat meal um i love modak so during ganpati it's modaks and mango season i have to have mangoes every day song you're playing on loop uh the song ami ji tumar which else <laughs> a book you recently loved reading um born a crime by trevor noah your favorite daily ritual putting on my spf in the morning and my moisturizer in the night okay a bad habit you wish to get rid of pausing and wondering and thinking <laughs> a habit you have picked up you're really proud of 
Um, well, because of my sons, I think the social media uh, is something um, that I picked up on. It's okay. Your guilty pleasure? Mm, my guilty pleasure. Mm, binge watching Netflix and or any of the OTTs. And lastly, we have Pooky Baba in the house for a long time on Instagram. But if we could see the spooky laugh of Madhuri Dixit in the movie, if you could do that. Oh my God. That <laughs> became viral everywhere. What was this laugh? I don't know which laugh. You and Vidya laughing and you know, <laughs> Karthi ah, Karthi ah, was okay. that one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much thank for your you. lovely time and all the thank very you. best, ma'am.